Commons. Uh, please welcome our fresh out of the packet Home Secretary, the Right Honourable Amber Rudd. Just being very careful with it. <laughs> Most of us are never tested the way that we've seen so many people tested tonight, and I think that that's very fortunate. But tonight we've heard from and seen particularly on the screen earlier 69 people and then some exceptional stories tonight of people who were tested and how remarkably they performed and how lucky we are that they did. So from my point of view as your new Home Secretary, it has been the most wonderful experience to sit here with you tonight and see these individual stories. Because I know that in this phenomenal job that I've been asked to do, for which I consider myself incredibly lucky, very honored, and just a little bit in awe, to hear these personal stories reminds me, as it will always will, of the individuals who make up this extraordinary force, this wonderful force. And when we're told that we have the great, this great force in England and Wales, it's so important to remember that it's these individual stories that make that possible. And what I particularly take away from tonight and these particular stories are the way that almost everybody who accepted these awards and spoke of their experience spoke about somebody else as well, not saving their own lucky skin or just the poor person who they'd been helping, but their wives or their partners, their mothers, Tesco's obviously featured <laughs> heavily tonight. But it was remarkable to hear that in all that drama and anxiety and incredible bravery, they were also thinking about their wives telling them off, or their mothers and the shopping, and that was remarkable. And it was also, um, for me, very interesting to hear about the fact that so many of these events took place off duty. So um, clearly, you're all on duty all the time, which is very fortunate for the rest of us. So thank you to the Police Federation. Thank you for inviting me here this evening. Thank you to the Police Mutual for your support as well. And I just want to say that it's made the most dramatic and personal impression on me as uh, my first event as your Home Secretary. So thank you very much for that. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, as the final point of the evening, I am extremely honoured to announce the winner of the Police Bravery Awards 2016 from... West Yorkshire Police, the incredibly heroic <laughs> Sean Cannon, please come and join us on stage. You make me feel You don't win the overall award and get away with not having an interview again, a second. Uh, that's the, the, the double bonus. Um, but uh, you stand here uh, before us all having won the overall Police Bravery Award in a room full of incredibly brave people. How, how does it feel to be holding that trophy in your hands? I don't feel like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. I mean, everybody deserves it. There's nobody who doesn't deserve it, so... I, I think that's, that's part of the reason I think you probably won it, because your, your natural humility... Uh, and, and in your story, you're telling it that there wasn't a moment really where you thought about yourself. And it, it was interesting uh, that you were telling me earlier that your friends are a little bit bored of all of this, aren't they? Is that fair enough? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Just tell us, tell us what's been going on in your oh, social feeds. I can't. The, the language is too blue. I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> but what's your nickname back at the, uh, the oh, base? PC Cravendale. Milking uh, it. <laughs> milking it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, you did, I think, 
I think Sean has promised, though, his friends who call him PC Cravendale that they, he will draw a line under it today. Uh, but Jill's here to see you. Jill, you said you wouldn't cry, and you're crying. Uh, you said that if your mother was here, she would definitely cry, and she would set you off. Uh, you're on the brink. If I talk long Stop enough... It. Well, OK, it. are you sure? <laughs> Nick, Can I give you a hug? Um, <laughs> no, Sean, joking aside, that is the last, final bit of inane stuff that will come out of my mouth. You are an absolute hero for what you would have done uh, on that day, a day that we'll never forget a story we'll all never forget. So congratulations on being our overall Police Bravery Award winner 2016. PC, Sean Cannon. Well done. You make me feel like I'm alive. Uh, well, thank you uh, once again, Home Secretary, for joining us tonight, of course, on day.